Won't you join me? It may be just a little black dress, but Audrey's gown from breakfast at Tiffany's has done some very big things. Designed by Givenchy, the gown was the essence of Audrey chic. The film's opening scene, with Audrey gazing into the windows at Tiffany's, is one of cinema's most memorable moments. In the decades since the film's release, the gown has become a symbol of elegance and originality, just as Holly Golightly and Audrey both were. According to Givenchy, this was not the one worn in the film, but there are three dresses. One is in the Costume Museum in Madrid, and one is in Givenchy's own personal archives in Paris. This is the only dress that will ever come on the market, and we at Christie's are truly excited and very honored. The bids here on the telephone against you in the second row, sir. Thank you. £410,000. Final warning. No regrets. It's at £410,000. Sold. £400,000. Computer Sika, computer Sika, Gan, Kaladala, Itadi, and Kovita, Likai. Audrey Hepburn loved the children of the world and worked tirelessly to improve their lives. No doubt she would be very pleased that her little black dress has made such a big difference. Number one, little black dress, breakfast at Tiffany's. It's the most iconic dress this actress has ever worn, and it's surely the dress that Hubert de Givenchy will be remembered for. In fact, it may well be the most well-loved dress in all of film history. We couldn't be talking about anything but Hepburn's classic little black dress that she wears while having breakfast at Tiffany's in the film of the same name. Audrey Hepburn once said of Givenchy, his are the only clothes in which I am myself. And after looking at all of these incredible pieces, we surely believe it. <laughs> at that time, though, was there anything you especially wanted to change? Did you want to look any different? Oh, or? yes. I mean, always as a child and then and even now, except now I sort of relax, you know, I sort of accepted myself the way I am. But of course, I wanted to have more shape and uh, I don't want to be as tall as I was, especially as I wanted to be a dancer. And as I have rather large feet, once I was up on on toe, you can imagine, I was a very tall dancer. So I had complexes about all of those things, you know, but um, I've had so much good fortune anyway that I've learned to live with myself, as oh, they say. Here did we you are, give we up films because of the family? Yes, I did. I mean, I sort of stopped wanting to travel around because it did mean leaving my sons. And uh, so I stayed home to enjoy them, you know. I would have hated to make movies all around the world and never to have known my sons. And now they're off on their own, and so now I have time to go around the world for other children. Yes, it is interesting, isn't it, yes. that you gave up films for children, mm -hmm. and, uh, and here you are back working yeah. harder than ever for children. Yes. Did, so, did you know how, how massive the job was going to be when you took it on? Probably not. It's so, it sort of has also snowballed, you know, that there's so much involved, apart from uh, seeing and meeting the media and talking to people and in general it's, it's 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 advocacy for the needs of a child and there's so many children so there's lots to do she was special when she was alive and I think we're going to find that that special quality is going to build and not a legend, she's already a legend. Her polish seemed to have been born with her. Uh, she spoke beautifully, she walked beautifully, she dressed beautifully and her manner and persona was as polished as anyone that I've ever seen in my entire life on or off the screen. But if needed in order to really become a star is an element x that god gives you or doesn't give you you've got it you cannot learn it god kissed her on her on her cheek and and there she was i, I put my hand in the mouth of truth and then when i pull it out it's like that and don't tell her we're going to do it and so we played the scene and Greg put his hand in there and... Hello. And the 
the scream I let out was good and proper because <laughs> it was very funny, but it was also very scary. <laughs> conditions that would reoccur at various stages in her life. The emotional wounds also remained. The horrors and human suffering that she had seen made a lasting impression on her. And throughout her life, she was as much defined by her spirit of compassion as she was by her creative spirit. She never forgot how it was to be truly hungry. She remained forever grateful for the food relief she and other children received from the United Nations. This was a debt of gratitude that she repaid over and over in her charity work with UNICEF. The war was over and Holland liberated. Now began the gradual emergence of the beautiful butterfly that the world was to eventually know and love. But let's go back a few short months behind the scenes at Paramount Studio and see something few outsiders are ever permitted to view. The first screen test of a new star. Against a flat gray background, a personality like Audrey stands out like a sparkling gem as she tries on the glamorous wardrobe to be worn in Roman holiday. By contrast, the pixie side of Audrey shows through as she demonstrates how she'll not only let her hair down, but even cut it off in a scene for Roman holiday. Yes, there's a nightgown scene. And what a nightgown! Demure is the word for Audrey in this attractive outfit. And all the boys behind the camera fell for her like a ton of bricks when that million candle power smile broke forth. There was no doubt about it. Audrey Hepburn was the only possible choice to play the runaway princess on this Roman holiday, having her romantic fling with Gregory Peck, the happiest any girl ever had, in the happiest picture you've seen in years. Once upon a time, there was a cheeky pixie, a fairy godmother, a princess most charming. She was the fairest of them all and the people loved her dearly, enchanted by her beauty, her grace, and her kindness. So powerful a spell did she cast that it didn't fade at all, even after years and years. There was always something very special about Audrey Hepburn. She was, is, truly an original. She is the inspiration for others, an enduring icon of elegance and taste. Her unique style, beauty and vibrancy continue to captivate and delight audiences young and old. And her fairy godmother wand still waves gently, easing the suffering of children in need. Around the world, her extraordinary legacy continues to touch millions of people, helping them to hope to dream and to laugh. This is the magic of Audrey. <laughs>